All right, it's time for our weekly visit with the Miller Twins, Damon and Damian, UAB defensive backs. It's presented by Legacy Community Federal Credit Union. You can depend on Legacy. They've been proving it to Birmingham and the UAB community since 1955. Guys, what's going on today? How are you? What's up? How you doing? Doing good. Uh, look, a tough loss at Rice. Uh, we'll start with you, Damian. What do you like to do just to kind of flush the memory of a loss? I mean, I know you got to go back and watch film. You got to make the corrections, but what's the best way, Damien, to flush the memory, to flush all the bad thoughts about a loss? Best way is just to get back on the field. And we did that yesterday. It was good getting on the field, you know, moving on, focusing on the next opponent. We got a very good offensive team coming in this week. And we're looking forward for another challenge. Damon, uh, I know the same thing. You know, you got to get back on the field. You got to watch film. Do you find it particularly difficult to flush losses? Is it easier to get rid of the memory of the loss or the good times of a win and get back down to earth? Uh, I feel like for me it's really easy because I feel like I'm I'm kind of upset for one day, and I still I forget about it, but I but I kind of don't. I move on, but I keep it in the back of my head. So it's it's easier for me to just get on the field on that Monday and just focus on the next opponent. Because, David, to your point, you got to have motivation too, right? I mean, coming off a loss can be a motivating factor for you guys. Mm, and, and it is. And uh, we got a lot going for us this week. Homecoming, Church and Harbor game, also another conference game. So a lot of a lot of big reasons for us to play this game, for us to win this game. Yeah, David, you think that this is a good offensive team, Middle Tennessee. Rick Stockfield and that team has always been known for their offense. And we kind of talked about him a little bit last week because they went and won at Miami. What makes this offense so good for them? Yeah, very good receiver. They know how to get the ball to him. The quarterback is very accurate. I think they average about 280 a game right now. Passing, I think, 286, if I'm not mistaken. But they just got a very, very good, well-rounded offensive team, very physical. They know how to put the ball in and give it to their big playmakers. It's our weekly visit with the Miller Twins, Damon and Damian, UAB Defensive Backs, presented by Legacy Community Federal Credit Union. You can depend on Legacy. They've been proving it to Birmingham and the UAB community since 1955. Damian, we'll stick with you. Do you get fired up as a defensive back when you know you're playing a good pass team and not a good run team? I don't I, I don't want to stereotype defensive backs, but those good <laughs> physical run teams, you don't, you know, you don't if you're playing a pass team, you don't have to stick that nose in there and stop the run a lot. Oh, yeah, it's fun. It's definitely fun playing all uh, passing team. You get more opportunities at the ball. And, you know, I'm just looking for I didn't get to play as much in the Georgia Southern game as I wanted to, but hopefully I can stay in this game a lot longer and make some plays. Yeah. Damon, are you more physical against the run than your brother? Like, when you play a run team, do you or do you like to hit more than your brother? Uh, yeah, they are, people in our room always say I'm more physical because he – he played cornerback our freshman year, so they, we always say they kind of soft. So I would, I would like to think I'm more physical than him, even though he <laughs> might be a little bigger. <laughs> All right, David, it is homecoming. What does that mean to you when you're playing at a homecoming game? Uh, especially here at UAB, it means a lot. We get to play with our, a different name on our back. We get to play for the, P, the people at the children at uh, Children's Hospital right across the road, and it's definitely a blessing. I got uh, Kaden Abstin, you got leukemia. And I just, when I got in my locker yesterday, I just read read his bio and I, and just, you know, and I just can't wait to meet him. I can't wait to meet him. That's a really cool tradition. And Damon, the same thing for you. I mean, I know Homecoming, Children's Harbor, all that in the same weekend. It, it's got to be, you know, a different type of emotion, right, than you would normally feel for a game. Uh, I feel like freshman year, I really didn't quite understand it. But, like, my sophomore year hit me when, like, my, uh, uh, the child I had that year, his family hit me up and made a whole Instagram and Facebook post about it. Wow. And this year I had uh, went to Lewis and she had cerebral palsy. So, and I have a cousin that also have that. So it, it kind of hit home for me. And it, even though I'm not, I won't be playing this week. It still hit home just to, you know, have my teammates go out there and play for somebody other than themselves. Yeah, it's really cool. It helps you realize, obviously, that there's a bigger world out there than just college football. As much as we love it. There's a bigger, bigger world out there. All right, uh, both of you, Damian, we'll start with you. Is the, the biggest pressure you face winning a homecoming game with all the alums, all the former players, all that? Is that the biggest pr pressure you face in a game all year long is the homecoming game, Damian? I'll say, I mean, yeah, it is because we we're playing for the kids and 
you know, the alumni and everything. But to us, every championship, every conference game is a championship game. So, you know, we'll just look at it that way and we'll have a, a little extra motivation this week because we're playing for something bigger than ourselves. Yeah, Damon, you've kind of moved in with your injury into the kind of the culture, coaching realm. Do you try to coach them up just a little bit more on homecoming weekend? Uh, I really uh, – last week I didn't do as much. So I feel like it's also kind of my fault that you, that we didn't win because I, I feel like I could have told the guys some. So this week I'm going to most definitely watch a little more film and be more on the field with them and coach them up. All right, it is homecoming 2.30 at uh, Protective Stadium. UAB Middle Tennessee, a big conference matchup. Children's Harbor weekend. It is a wonderful, wonderful weekend there at UAB. Guys, best of luck in the game. As always, we appreciate the time. Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, thank you. Our talk with the Miller Twins each week presented by Legacy Community Federal Credit Union. You can depend on Legacy. They've been proving it in Birmingham and the UAB community since 1955.